watching Keyshawn backstage and I'm grooving out as well. Good morning, everybody. This is your wake up call. It is Monday, May 16th. Welcome. I'm Sandy Buadonna. And, uh, you know, yesterday I was at a wedding celebration in my family and I was thinking about it. There was like 80 people at my father's house. We were celebrating my niece who's about to get married in a month. And it was like a pre-wedding celebration. And um, everybody there was there because they were invited. Now, I know you know, you, you know where I'm going to go with this, but I thought about it. Some people may not have come because they didn't even see the invite. They might not have come because they weren't asked again. Now, I know that's weird, but it's a reminder. It's a reminder that, hey, the, this invite is still happening um, we want you there. And that was a key point to this is that the reminder of how important it is that they take part in this. It's like this, how much they matter to you. And every single person we invited came. I could not believe it, but I, I thought about how the invitation process is so important because not only is it a reminder of that, that you have something going on, you have something to invite to, but then inviting someone again and saying, I really can't wait to see you. I want you there. And following up even again, saying how much it means to you that they're there and how it means how much it can mean to them. So that was really fun. Um, and our topic today is about the steps that people go through in before they make their invites. So I want you to stick around. Please tag your coaches. And I, I'm not sure if Facebook Live is uh, getting triggered the moment I go live. So if you have this opportunity to tag coaches and get them on this live call, that would be really great. I also want to make a, a plea for Coach Summit because we talk about it every single week. It's two months away, a little less than two months away, 58 days. And I know you're already registered because the people who are registered, they come to the wake up call. They're invested in their business and they are uh, ready to blow this thing up. So my assignment for you today is to invite one person. And I mean talking to them and why it matters to you that they go. The stories that they will have, the memories that they will have. Why is it important that they go? So create that memory for them and create that value for them. So I'm counting on you. Invite one person to summit. I am going to move the call forward. We've got exciting recognition today. Let's bring on Darren Ashby. And yes. Good morning, <laughs> Sandy. How are you? Good morning, Darren. You look really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> really good for someone who stays up till 4 a.m. painting <laughs> that beautiful art. It's bad. It's a, it's a problem. I need to stop. <laughs> no, you it. don't. No, you don't. Um, okay. I'm going to let you do recognition. Bye. Sounds good. Good morning, coaches. I was excited to hear Sandy talk about Summit because, man, it's coming right up. If you are not registered, get registered because you got to be there. But let's talk about the important things right now. We've got new, new diamonds to talk about. So here they are. Congratulations to Joelle Body. Des uh, Desica Brunot, Estefania Cruz, Sabrina Suevas, Alondra Gonzalez, Brianna Knudsen, Salvador Montalero, uh, Danielle Rodriguez, Michelle Solomon, and Sophie Stark, Christine Trees, and Elizabeth Wallach. Those are your newest diamond coaches. And if you are uh, striving to hit a new rank, diamond spe uh, specifically by Summit, Time's ticking down, man. June 2nd is the cutoff. You got to get there. So now is go time. All right. Those are your new diamonds. Congratulations, guys. Here are our newest star diamond coaches. Congratulations to Danielle Amorello, Katrina Belenger, Natalie Briegeman, Jamie Cassins, Andrea Fitzgerald, Rhonda Haas, Andrea Johnson, Kristen Rowe, and Alika Sexton. All right. Our newest two-star diamonds, Sarah Peeler, Jessica Schmink, and Cindy Tremblay, one of our elite 10 this year. And coaches, let's see, we do have a three-star diamond coach. Congratulations to Ashley Edelman. But now I know we're jumping clear up to superstar diamond coach. We have a new one this week. Congratulations to team embracing the chaos. And we have, of course, 
we have a special guest speaking with us today who knows Tori very well. But congratulations to Tori Acord for hitting 15 star diamond. Coach, she's our newest superstar. Congratulations. All right, coaches, that is it for recognition this week. And again, you got to be at Summit. I'm getting excited. It's getting close. Things are coming together. And man, I can't say it enough. Get there, June 2nd, recognition cutoff date. Get there. <laughs> so without further ado, let's bring Keyshawn on with some amazing announcement. Keyshawn. Thank you, Darren. Good morning, coaches. I just have two quick announcements for you. Sandy touched on it. Darren touched on it. And it is that important that you are going to hear it thrice <laughs> on a Monday morning. It's Coach Summit. Officially, tickets are $175. It's the lowest that they're going to be. So make it happen. What does that mean? Back into how many people you can help so that you can get this ticket. Do what you can. Of all the stories that I hear about Summit, it's I made it happen, and I'm so thankful I made it happen. Let me know if you guys went to some, if you were one of those people who made it happen, and you're thankful that you made it happen. Uh, you can register for Coach Summit, though, at CoachSummit.com. The FAQ is 8143, and the 2022 selection guide is still available. The FAQ can be found in CoachSummit.com or the 8143. There's so many different ways that we want to make sure that you get the information. There's also another FAQ, but the Summit Selection uh, General Registration is also open. Open. And so what that app guide does, it allows you to customize your summit experience. So this is when you select your workout. Someone I think asked about how many people we're we expecting about 16,000 ish people so far who have registered. We're expecting more people to register, uh, but there's going to be a lot of people trying to get to work out with your trainer. So make sure that you sign up with the person that you want to work out with. Uh, you also get to choose your workshop tracks. You get to uh, pre-purchase some of the lunch options. Uh, you get to make sure that you sign up for the celebration. There's a lot of stuff that you want to make sure that you just are aware about and you sign up with that selection guide. Also, you want to download the Summit 2022 event app. Lastly, about Summit for this Monday is we have the parties and our Summit parties are legit next freaking level. Thank you, Sandy. The FAQ for uh, our parties, our Team Up Dream Up Ribbon Party, as well as our Diamond Leadership Party, our FAQ 8778 and 8178. This is the thing about Summit. You have to have a ticket for recognition, to participate in the parties, for the gifts that you might get uh, for working hard with your team, the exclusive shopping experience. You have to have a ticket to be able to do those things. And this is the best ticket price that it's going to be, period. The second and final announcement that I have for you guys today is all about Fire and Flow. We are so excited. If you guys were living under a rock, just know that last week we had what we're calling a Champions Page Takeover with Fire and Flow. And Jericho, Mick Matthews and Elise Jones, the creators of Fire and Flow, were all up and through the Beachbody Champions Facebook page. There's a lot of trainings. One of, I mean, so many great trainings. Make sure you check out that Action Hour with Brittany Kovacs. All of it can be found in Guide 19. More than all that, though, the um, product toolkit is also available that has so many resources ready for pre-launch, during launch, and post-launch. So make sure you check those out. Um, but this program is launching next week, y'all, next week on the 24th for coaches and uh, preferred customers and then customers on the uh, 7th of June. Finally, don't forget that total solution pack purchasers and first time sellers between April 1st and May 22nd and April 1st and June 5th will earn 50% off of a fire and flow digital streaming or 50% off Fireflow accessory bundle. And the FAQ is 2400 It's underneath. All right, y'all. That is it. You know, last year at Summit, one of the things I love about Summit, by the way, are the speakers. We talked about Brendan Burchard. We talked about Bob Hyatt. Like, those are our keynote speakers. But there are a lot of incredible speakers you're going to hear from uh, on stage, but also in your workshops. And I always leave memory some of those key takeaways from, from their stories. Uh, last year at Summit, I talked about companion planting and the importance of working together to grow individually, but together. And so I was kind of reflecting on that message from last year. And remember, and I was actually doing some planting. I was repotting my snake plant, y'all. And I was just thinking, because my, my snake plant, it outgrew my pot. And I was thinking the, the, the best plants 
they grow when they're comfortable. You got to make sure that you repot them when they've outgrown their pot. Make sure that they've set up for maximum comfort, right? However, the best plants have to go through something, right? They have to go through pruning and cutting in order to grow. They have to go through those things, that discomfort in order to grow as big and as beautiful as they are. So if you were going through something, it may be because you are growing through something. So the challenge is to lean into that, lean into fire and flow, lean into your community, lean into this summit. You've heard it three times now and get your freaking ticket and start sharing and start talking about it. And if it's time to start, start. If it's time to turn it up, turn it up. Take on Sandy's challenge. Invite one more person. Invite one person. Follow up with one person and embrace what we have. You have all the resources. You have the potential to grow. Are you getting comfortable? Are you staying uncomfortable? All right, y'all. That's all I have. Quick and easy. Sandy, take it away. Get me out of here. Wait, Sandy, we got we are playing with the buttons today, Keyshawn. That was awesome. Thank you. And definitely that growing state that you're in, it can be so uncomfortable at times, but that means that you're growing. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody on Facebook for tagging so many people. It's like we doubled our attendance just by you reaching out to one person on Facebook, just saying, hey, this call is going to be good for you. Get on. That person got on. I'm loving it. I'm watching this on Facebook. That's how it happens. That's how it will happen at Summit, too. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. You're here for the wake up call and you are here for our speaker. And by the way, she has been coaching four years and she is uh, at the seven star diamond rank, seven star diamond coach. She's a two time elite coach. Um, she's also a success starter. So that means that when she started this business, she spent three months hitting success club right away in her first six months in the business. And that took off because for 49 straight months, she has achieved success club, helping at least three new people every single month. Um, her team name is embracing the chaos. Okay, I know you guys wanted that for your own name, but no, it's taken. She's got it. She's from Walker, Louisiana. Please bring on Samantha Baggett. Yoo-hoo! Let me bring her on. <laughs> hey. Hey, thank you so much for coming on board. And I believe you have a connection to our 15-star diamond coach, Tori. Aker. I do. I love Tori. She is actually my coach, and I cannot believe that today she is superstar. She is a superstar coach, and you are part of that 15-star diamond coach yes. uh, organization of hers, right? You were her first diamond? Yes, I am. One of her first diamonds. That's so great. So congratulations to Tori and Samantha. Let's bring you in and hear a little bit about your uh, entry into Beachbody four years ago. Talk about, um, talk about why you came to Beachbody and a little bit about a wake-up call moment that you had in your business. Okay. So I started in Beachbody four years ago when I was three months postpartum with my son. And I remember it was around the holiday season. And I just remember hating getting dressed and going anywhere, especially work. I was still in my maternity jeans <laughs> and nothing fit. And then I had an upcoming wedding that I was in and I had to try on my bridesmaid's dress. It was black. It was sparkly. It was absolutely beautiful and way over my budget. But the worst part about trying on that dress is that I couldn't even get it over my hips. So in that moment, I knew something needed to change. I just had no idea what to do. There was one night that I remember laying in bed, tears in my eyes, and I just sat there and I was scrolling social media and I came across my coach Tori's own transformation. And it was her postpartum journey that I saw. And I sat there and I looked at myself and I was like, can I do this? I mean, she did, like, why can't I? And so I decided to go all in. I decided, why not? But at the time, I was a teacher and finances were really tight. So I actually called my mom the very next day and I said, Mom, I know what I want for Christmas. Yes, my mom gifted me my own very first total solution bundle with 80 Day Obsession. And if it wasn't for my mom 
believing that I could do this, believing and knowing that I needed to lose the weight, but believing that I could, I can't imagine where I would be. That dress ended up not only fitting, but it was actually a little too big for the wedding. And I was able to put away all of the maternity jeans and I created healthy habits that have lasted me even for my second postpartum journey now. So I didn't really ever plan on coaching. I simply signed up as a coach for the discount. Again, finances were really, really tight and I knew how much I loved our shakes and I knew that the results that I was getting. So my coach, Tori, ended up just telling me, hey, just go find a couple friends to do this with you and essentially you're gonna call, uh, cover the cost of your Shakeology. So that's exactly what I did. By finding friends and coworkers and family members to do this with me, I realized how accountable I was staying on my own journey. And I started to believe in myself even more. So I consistently found three or more people a month to do this with me. But then I went to Summit in 2019 and it was like my eyes opened up. This bigger picture happened. And I realized that the possibilities are there and there was so much more. So I just want to say, get your butt to summit because I promise you it is a game changer for your business. And that was the moment that everything changed after that for me. You know, people don't realize the uh, light bulb moments that happen at summit. And it's really just about like, it clicks differently for people at different times. And that, that story of you understanding the bigger picture, I think when, when people are customers, you know, they're doing the program, they're getting results and they have that little world. But when they go to summit, the world is is opened up larger and you see potential, you see possibility. Um, that's why we try and get people to summit. It's believe me, it's not to make money. We don't make money off of summit. I know Darren Ashby's laughing right now. Like summit is really to get people there to to get that human connection. Um, so thank you for sharing that. And thank you also for sharing the Christmas gift of, hey, you need to work out. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> mom. Okay, stop reading between the lines of what you get for a Christmas gift, you know, makeup or whatever. Um, Samantha, you you have a topic today because so many people ask for that that sales process, that invitation process. You know, it's getting people to the commitment stage. That is, we don't call it sales anymore. We call it connecting people, but we call it the total solution. So talk about why this topic was important to you, why it was personal to you about helping people get to that commitment. Okay, I'll let I'll come out. Yes. So today I'm going to talk to you about how I get people connected with our healthy solutions. And it goes back to the fact that I was the person who needed that healthy solution. I needed to lose weight. I needed the extra income. I needed to have my confidence back and believe in myself. So I can't imagine what my life would look like right now if my coach had never invited me. She actually invited me multiple times and for multiple months before I finally said yes. I had to have that wake up call moment, but that yes finally led to so many and was the answer to so many of the problems that I was facing. Being a former teacher, I am all about making sure that, you know, I, I want to help people. I, I love to help others. I was a math teacher as well. So problems and solutions are my thing, but I want to serve other people. I don't want to just sell them a product. So with every invite that I send, I know that it's the potential that I could be impacting someone's life. So I'm going to give you my five steps on my invitation process on how I get people connected with our total solution. So being a coach, you have to show up. You have to be proof of the product. It is a part of your vital behaviors for a reason. So before I ever send an invite, I have to look in the mirror. I have to look at my own journey. Am I doing a workout program? Am I drinking my shake? Am I showing up on social media? In order for me to invite and invite them to our healthy solutions that we have, I have to show them our healthy solutions. I have to show up as a challenger every single day. So I show my journey. I let them in. 
I don't just share my victories. I share the struggles that I go through. I share the hard days that I have, and I share those small wins that I get along the way. So I like to build trust and relate to people within the problems that they may be having, because those are the problems that I'm going through. It's not about just a product or selling a challenge pack. It's about building that connection and helping someone else to impact their life. So when I show a picture of my Energize, I don't just put up a picture of my Energize. I talk about how that Energize is helping me get through the day because my daughter was up all night. Or I share how Bevy is keeping me out of the pantry at three o'clock. By sharing the problems that I am personally facing and the solutions that I use for those problems, I don't ever feel like I'm selling anything. I am simply sharing the things that I love. I'm sharing the things that are helping me. Just like I was to share a new workout outfit that I'm absolutely obsessed with, or maybe a new Netflix series that I can't stop watching. So the first step into making sure that you're getting that invitation sent is that you have to build trust with people and show up as a challenger every single day and be proof of the product. Now, because I do show up every single day, it makes inviting that much easier because I know with each invite that I send, I'm not going to be able to just reach my own goals. I'm also going to turn around and have that potential to impact someone else's life and maybe even have the answers to the problems that they're facing. So before I send any invite, I have to realize that I have to be in a good headspace. If you're not in a positive mindset, it's going to come across that way in your messages. So my step number two for y'all is to make sure that you are in a positive mindset before you ever send an invite. So for me, every morning I wake up, I wake up before my kids, I drink my Energize, I get on our early bird team Zoom, and I actually set a timer for 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, I dive into our personal development. It's a vital behavior for a reason also. And by me diving into my personal development book, I have this light, like fire that is lit. I either get a quote that I can post that day, or I just feel like I can conquer the world from something that I've read. And by me getting in a good positive mindset, I then can turn around and set a timer again for 10 minutes. And I sit there and I invite. And I invite from the content that I created the day before because I am showing up. By me inviting in the morning, this gives the person that I sent the invitation to all day long to think about my invite in the back of their head as they go along their day. Now, I don't just invite anybody. I think it is really important to make sure that you are forming some sort of connection with the person that I'm inviting. I want them to be able to trust me so that they'll join me because they're going to send you a transformation photo. So you have to have that trust that's being built and you have to have that connection that's being built. So step number three is make sure that you build connection before you actually send that invite. Again, I'm a former teacher. I love to serve people. I want to help people. So I am not the type of person that's going to send a cold message to somebody. I think it's important that with the content you create, I am connecting and I am targeting my audience in a specific way. I connect with my potential clients by things that are completely non beach body related. So sometimes conversations start off about sleep training or T-ball or something super silly, but it ends up being an opportunity where I can turn around and I can help them. I can help them with the problem that they're having or maybe they see something that I'm posting about and they even ask me about it because we built that relationship to where they trust me enough. So when I do finally send that invite, I feel comfortable enough to send the invite and I make references within their own life. So for example, hey, Sally, I cannot believe your girl is already one month old. Time seriously is flying by. I hope that she is getting you some rest at night but if you ever need a little pick me up, I would gladly send you a sample of my Energize. I know how much it helps me throughout the day. Or if you need help with your postpartum journey, just know I'm always here to help you. I personally know how tough it can be. By me talking to and inviting a specific person, I get to build a connection with somebody. I want to connect with somebody that I'm going to potentially be friends with and travel to summit with. 
So I connect and I, I talk to and I invite the mom that's drowning in postpartum that needs a community or needs something for her. Or maybe I am inviting the teacher that needs the stress relief after a long day or the extra income. Or I'm inviting just the woman who needs to feel confident in the clothes that she wants to wear. Essentially, I'm inviting and talking to the person that I was when I joined. And so by me taking the time to build that connection and rapport, it's really, really simple for me to, and I feel very comfortable just to easily send them a message. So if they're watching my stories and I see them, you know, constantly there, I will gladly send a message from maybe a workout clip or maybe a clip about my boot camp or something like that. And I'll just send a message and say, when are you going to do this with me? Or I'll say, are you currently working out too? By asking that question, it, get, it lets them respond. Or maybe they end up liking my post. So I'll send them a voice memo and I'll say, thank you so much for the love of my post. You don't understand how much it means to have your support. My May boot camp is starting up and I would love for you to seriously join in and do this with me. Are you currently working out? Something short and simple that's going to easily change that conversation that you're having from non-Beachbody related topic to an invite to your next boot camp. So for me, the next, the next step within my invitation process is all about how you actually have your messages. It is making sure that you follow the feel, felt, found method. This method is a game changer. So it is all about, if you don't know what the method is, it's all about feeling what the person is feeling. It's all about knowing their struggles. It's all about knowing the problems that they are having or the goals that they want to reach. It's all about understanding how they feel because you felt it too. Or maybe someone on your team has. Because it gives you a chance to explain to them that they're not alone. That you also felt that way. That I too needed to lose weight that I too wanted to feel confident in a swimsuit during the summer, that I too had no idea what to do with nutrition. So by you feeling and understanding what they feel and explaining how you felt the same way and that you found healthy solutions using the products and the tools that we have, that is where your messages are going to have that connection. And it's going to allow you to be able to turn around and know exactly what they need. So for me, when people send me a message and say, I want more info, I honestly, I don't give them info. I ask them questions. I get them doing all the talking because I want to know what they feel. So for me, I'll ask my favorite question that I ask is, what do you struggle with more? Nutrition? or energy and motivation. So if somebody says nutrition, then I am simply gonna talk about my story on how I replaced one meal a day with a shake. And how when you join, you get multiple nutrition programs that are gonna teach you how to live a healthy lifestyle. Oh, and also you'll get meal plans weekly in my boot camp. Maybe they say that energy and motivation is their struggle. Well, great, energize, it's life. and. It helps so much when you just grab a friend to do this with you, especially a coworker. So I always explain to them the things that it helped me or the things that have given me that connection or given me that solution to the problem that they may be having. And I always ask them questions because I think it's so important to continue the conversation and know exactly what the struggles are that they're having. But importantly, like how you found the healthy solutions for those problems as well or maybe someone on your team has. My last step for you is probably the most important one though. It is to make sure that you follow up and it is to make sure that you ask for those referrals. I can't help but think about my journey and the fact that if my coach would have never reached out to me multiple times for multiple months, I don't know if I would have fit in that bridesmaid dress. Heck, I don't even think I would have been a coach if my coach didn't tell me, hey, just go grab three friends to do this with you. So for me, I follow up every month right before my boot camp starts. And I also follow up within the first two weeks of my boot camp. I can easily send a message to someone and say, 
hey, my, my May boot camp is already up. The, the ladies in there are crushing it. I can't help but think of you. Are you still interested in joining? Or, hey, Blake, I'm not sure. I know last month might have not been a good month, but this month my May boot camp is starting up and I would love for you to jump in with me. Is it something you're still interested in? Or do you have a friend that may benefit from it as well? I know that with each follow-up, I am putting the thought in the back of their mind. I am essentially allowing them to eventually have that wake up moment for them. But I want them to think of me when they do. I let everybody that ends up joining my boot camp and even the people that give me objections about cost, I end up telling them all the time that just go grab three friends. You're going to cover the cost of your bundle. You're going to stay more accountable. And by always making sure that I send that one message after somebody joins, I'm also planting that coaching seed without them ever realizing. But by inviting them and following up with them, I'm putting the ball in their court. They have the choice on whether or not they stay where they're at or they make a change. It is essentially on them when they do join. It is not on us. It's on them. But I want them to think of me when they have that moment. And they won't know if they have something to join if you don't invite to it. They won't know what is possible if you don't show it. They won't know that they can do it if you don't pour the belief in them. So I know that every time I invite someone, I can potentially be giving them the answers and the solutions to the problems that they are facing. Because for me, that's exactly what this was. It was the answer to the problems that I was personally facing. And I cannot imagine what my life would be like if my coach didn't invite me and continue to follow up until I finally said yes. I love that what you said, they don't even know if it exists if you don't show them. Oh, I love that. Um, you know, there was a question from a coach, and I don't want to put you on the spot before you're closing, but can you share what book that you're currently reading? Cassandra Williams wanted to know what book, because you were talking about every morning you work on personal development. Is there something that you're working on right now? And like, what is it doing for you? So I have three books I actually am currently just going yep. through. I have one that's called Embrace Your Almost. I have another one called You Are a Bad A. And the <laughs> other one that I have is the 5 a.m. Club. That was the one I started with when I started waking up early in the morning. Okay. So one is about empowerment. One is about discipline and, you know, healthy habits. The first one, you Embrace Your Almost. What was it? It's Embrace Your Almost. It's a new book that I just opened up. So Ooh, Okay. I like that. All right. Um, this has been great. And it, you can tell that you're, are you currently a teacher or former teacher? Former. Former teacher. Okay. So you retired. Um, so you, you're very, you know, methodical, disciplined, and, and you handle people like, you know, you build the relationship first before you invite. So I love what you said. I love all of the mindset. And, um, in the last four years, you have had to flex different muscles and create some superpower for yourself. What would you say that is? Oh, man. Okay, so in the past four years, if I could superpower in one word, it would probably be belief. I didn't even know what the national wake-up call was when I first started coaching, but eventually I believed I would be on this call. And here I am. And it started with my mom first believing in me that I could do this. And then it turned to my coach and my husband believing that if I continue to do this, I could retire from teaching. And here I am. So belief to me is my superpower. It's the, it's the most beautiful thing that you can also give someone else. By you pouring that belief into someone else, they can turn around and start believing in themselves. And you, I personally believe in what we have. I believe in Beachbody. I, I bleed blue. I believe that the products and the solutions that we have and the tools that we have really can change lives because it's changed mine. So. You know, I keep thinking about the word belief and that it's not transactional. It's like, you don't, you're not a coach for a year and then, oops, I believe in myself now. <laughs> like, like belief is an ongoing 
practice, you know, which is why um, personal development is a practice. You're getting better at believing in yourself, right? Um, so yeah. I, I, it just like dawned on me that people people read personal development books because they want to be more confident, a better leader, more belief in themselves. But really, belief comes from pouring into others, and you're you're just practicing belief. I I just feel as though that was a great superpower, and I'm really really excited you came on. Um, thank you so much. Stick around. I'm going to end the call, but stick around, but don't hang up. Thank um, you. Okay. Um, I, um, I'm so happy for her and, and, you know, a lot of you got on live this morning and a lot of you, um, can listen to the podcast, which we'll post in about an hour or so. Um, the invitation process is not a technical, it's not a tactical thing. We say process or we say, you know, sales 101 or we say connecting people to the total solution is over time. It's a, it's a relationship building thing that some, it can take a minute, you meet someone and go, she's my people, or it can take months of people watching you and building that trust. And when it's right for them, they join in with the total solution. But it is a belief in yourself that stems from doing this and, and loving what you do and, and feeling empowered when, um, you work on the vital behaviors first. I'm just thinking of her personal development and, and her energize and everything that she does in the morning is setting her up for a strong invite, a powerful invite, a, a, a connector. So anyway, I, I'm kind of going off today, but I really appreciate everybody joining in live this morning. Wanted to also mention next week, I have Jericho and Elise on the wake-up call. So we'll, hear, we'll see you here next week. All right, bye-bye.